Karen, what have you made here today? Um, a chicken and mushroom and bacon pie, mm -hmm. and a raspberry chocolate mud cake pie. Pastry's crumbly, melts in my mouth. It's nice and even. It has a lovely buttery taste. Your filling's a wee bit dry, and I want a bit more salt in it. But that's a damn good effort. Well done. Thank you. Karen, Karen, Karen. You had a little moment today. <laughs> you have to go and have a little sit down. Are you all recovered? I am now. Do you think that your filling mixture for your savoury pie, the mixture had split? Yes, it had split. I would have liked to have seen you spent that time fixing that problem because you probably could have made another sauce and everybody would have been going wow about your filling. If I was served this in a cafe, I'd be very happy. I think it looks very attractive and I think you've done a good job. Thank you. You know, there was a time in this competition when I didn't think you should be here right at the beginning. But I really do believe you've earned a place in this competition now. Well done, I think it's a good effort. Thank you, Simon. I've been working so hard to get a compliment out of Simon. <laughs> I got it. We've got a chocolate and raspberry tart for dessert and we have a rustic uh, quattro formaggi bacon and egg leek pie. And so that the pie's got the raspberry set into it. That's right. Right. Do you think it would come out of the flanter? Um, I'd probably be safer to cut a slice. Should we try it? No. There you go. I thought it wasn't going to, I probably wouldn't have done that. It does hold. Um, the chocolate's bitter and obviously the raspberry with it is fantastic. Pastry's not quite cooked. Just needed the egg in it and be a bacon and egg pie almost. But hey, it's pretty tasty. I like it. Thank you. I'm starting to really think about the imperfections of the creation that I've made and I actually really wanted to throw it in the bin before I went up there, but I'm sure that wouldn't look too good. It's chicken stuffed breast wrapped in prosciutto with potato mash, roast capskins and mushrooms. Dessert pie is pumpkin pie. It's just mashed potato and some pastry that's dry. I think you've tried to put too many dishes into one dish and it hasn't worked. I'm sorry, Kelly, it's possibly the worst pumpkin pie I've tasted. Yeah. Kelly, what's it called again? It's chicken breast stuffed with parmesan, um, pine nuts and potato mash. You didn't say the word pie. Look, I hardly need to taste this. This looks rather nice, but what it is is a chicken dinner with pastry that I don't need. Okay. We can see this doesn't have any sauce, and really a pie requires a sauce, so. Yeah. Don't try it. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah, no, that's it's fine. You should have been able to have seasoned that up to have got a better. Okay. Better flavour. It could have been fixed. Thank you. I mean, let me try and find something nice. Oh. And the peppers, what's pepper got to do with this? You know, it's just colour. It's had a mere. It's quite gluey. Really, actually quite unpleasant. It hurts, you know, it hurts, yeah, but then I, I knew it. I knew what I, was, what I was about to get and I couldn't stop it and so, you know, I just know that I'll never ever do those again. Going into the elimination, I'm not comfortable at all. I know that my dishes definitely weren't up to scratch. I really don't think anyone's done worse than me today at all. 
I'm standing there waiting for elimination and I'm thinking I'm probably on the chopping block or at least going to get drilled by the judges for having an advantage and not using it. Who ate the pies? Well, we ate the pies. Actually, we didn't eat all of them. We were presented with some shockers today. Nevertheless, we've reached our decisions, but it hasn't been easy. It's a sad moment because we're going to say goodbye to one very good cook. As I call your names, please step forward. Nigel. Karen. I'm feeling I am fairly safe today. You know, somewhere just floating around in the middle. Brett. Mark. Sue. I'm called forward with other people and I think, well, I must be the one they're going to send home because all the others did very well. Nigel, your pies were really good. I really loved what I called the Irish pie, the steak and the Guinness and the potatoes. Quite traditional, beautifully done. And the crumble topped one, excellent. Thank you. Karen, chicken pie, that just looked a million dollars, that pie. Beautifully glazed. Even though it was plain, it looked really appetizing. And your little chocolate pie was great too. Thank you, Ray. I am so happy. I've been waiting since I messed up the first day to do well in a challenge. So the top two, it's been a really tough decision, but after much discussion, Nigel, overall, we thought your pies were the best pies of the day. Thank you. Well done. Excellent. I'm thrilled to have won this challenge. My friends and family all know me as uh, Nigel, the guy that eats lots of pies and loves his pies, so it's a good one to win. Everyone's going to have a good laugh about this one. I think it's fantastic. And you've also won dinner for two at Seoul Restaurant. Magic, thank you. You can choose another contestant to accompany you. Brett, Sue and Mark, you are also through to the next round. I'm stoked. I'm absolutely over the moon to be able to stay. Brett and Sue, you should count yourself very lucky. Thank you very much. I'm very, very grateful, and hopefully I can do justice to why I'm here. I'm really relieved that I am still here, for sure. I think um, I didn't use my advantage well. Five of you are through to the next round. Take a seat. Kirsty, Steve, Rob, Kelly, and then there were four. Despite having the pie of the day, as Simon called it, um, I'm still left in the bottom four standing, so I'm thinking, this ain't so good. Rob, delicious chocolate velvet pie and a very tasty second savoury pie. Steve, delicious chicken pot pie and what will go down in history with all your friends as the Bonoffi Shocker. But you're both good enough to go through to the next round of the competition. Well done. I think I really dodged a bullet there. You know, the, the Bonoffi was so bad that I was still on the bottom four. It's quite a horrible realisation when you realise you're there again, knowing that it's going to be one of us, you know, that's a very sad feeling. You need to learn how to cook leek before you try and stuff a leek. You need to get the basics right first, and then you can become innovative. It was just a bad call to put it in the leek cups instead of in the pastry shell. And I don't know why I keep choosing to take risks here where there's no second chances. Kelly, your savoury pie was like a TV dinner in a pie shell. You could have put that in a tinfoil plate. You didn't need the pastry. I wanted a pie. I wanted something that belonged in pastry, that was made succulent by being in pastry. It simply didn't deliver. The pumpkin pie, it was nasty. You put those nasty, nasty little pumpkin seeds in it so that I was eating this thing thinking I'm swallowing beetles. My head just wasn't there. I wasn't ready to make a pie. And yeah, I don't know why I tried pumpkin pie since I've never tasted it before. For one of you, the dream is about to end. I know that I've got a place here and I'm here for a reason because I have got some good dishes, so I'd be devastated if I went home because I don't feel like it's my turn. It would have been amazing to be the first Master Chef of New Zealand, but I definitely think I'm going home. Like, I feel that there's just no ifs and buts about it. After much discussion, we have decided... Kelly, there is no longer a place for you in MasterChef New Zealand. 
I knew that it was going to be me today. Just had that feeling. It's pretty disappointing. No one wants to lose. Kirsty, once again, that close to being on your way home tonight. Thank you. I'm completely relieved when they say that it's time for Kelly to go. Very sad, but I'm so relieved that I get another chance. Kelly, I have to say that it's been an absolute pleasure. Seeing your smile on that television screen is completely amazing. You, you're vivacious and you're a really good cook with a lot of potential. Don't get us wrong, you've got to keep going, you know? You're really going to get there, I know it. Kelly, it's time for you to leave the MasterChef kitchen. It's such an emotional rollercoaster, but hey, it's been an amazing journey. I have grown so much in these last two months. See you later, guys. And to have come this far where I thought I never even would is just wicked. I'm going to make it to where I need to be, and that's to be a Michelin star chef and one of New Zealand's top chefs, and it's going to happen. Just watch this space.